Welcome back to the channel lads. Uh, this is going to be a kit review of uh, the Special Hobby uh, 148 scale Hawker Tempest Mark II. Uh, we say Special Hobby but we probably know that this is Edward of uh, been involved with this one. So if we just open up the box here you'll see uh, the state we're in. Um, all in one bag which is <laughs> It's a special hobby thing, isn't it? I mean, that even looks like an Edward kit, doesn't it? Uh, we'll get all this out the bags and uh, let's get to it. First up, we'll have a look at the instructions. Um, if you want to have a look at that, freeze that there. You can have a little read. In English, of course. Um, nice, glossy instructions. Here we go. This is tell us, tell us, uh, telling us what we're getting in here. Uh, we're getting some photo etch, of course. We're getting a mass set, which is ideal, and lots of lovely resin, which is even more ideal. This is a bit like the old, um, see look, there's a bit there, look. I don't think that's anything. This is like the old Profi kits, where you used to get resin um, with a mass set and PE. Uh, sprue tree, cockpit stuff, we've got coloured, um, drawings to know give us an idea of what colors they should be obviously it doesn't does, does it tell you it probably is mr. hobby isn't it uh, it's got the guns um, paints to go with but obviously <clears throat> excuse me you choose your own paints whatever you want to do cockpit looks really nice doesn't it look at that the beauty um, We'll have a look at the, the resin engine, but I've got a feeling it's going to be sublime. Yeah, very nice. So it's all pretty straightforward and standard kind of stuff. Cop it together into the fuselage, fuselage together, have a go with the wings. Uh, this is typical Edward stuff, and they're making the, the wheel bays. Um, they all go together quite uh, nicely. Uh, wings go together to watch the wing wing route of course you've got to check your, your camo schemes for things like your grills there's a grill there for the engine I'm guessing um, uh, oh, sorry, I really on that one. Um, so just got to check what scheme we'll get to the schemes in a sec um, well that's really to be honest we've got to 30 parts look and we've got the end of can oh there's a bit more yet undercarriage together we have resin wheels for this one they should be super duper uh, just gives you a quick look in to see what you're going to get when you get the kit I mean you, you can see this I don't need to explain instructions um, you get a few I think you, you get more than two props I believe I've had a quick I think I'm not sure we'll have a look uh, a little Legend here to show you how the, uh, the cowling should be opened up should you require it. Um, so if you have the cowling open to show the engine, uh, you obviously got to cut the front of the, the fuselage off, which is, you know, which is all right, I suppose. Oh, that should be okay. <clears throat> and uh, what else we got here? Uh, that's it, canopy, bugger about with the canopy. Rockets to go on should you require, and all fuel tanks. Check your schemes. There's your there's your mask. Tells you what you're masking up. These are lights underneath. Does look real nice kit, doesn't it? So your schemes are going to be 183 Squadron in the grey green uh, with uh, medium sea grey underneath. Uh, white cowling. That's the box art. Looks quite nice. I mean, look at this one here. Look, this is, looks a lovely one. Silver. The aluminium finish you probably need to check make sure that that's painted or aluminium I imagine it'd be painted that looks a proper job that does blue spinner cool lovely similar sort of scheme uh, this is 16 squadron um, 33 squadron was the silver one and we get into the um, Pakistani Air Force 14 squadron that's quite nice or the um, the Indian uh, Air Force, and that's quite nice as well. That's silver with black wingtips. <clears throat> so you do get some nice schemes, and there's a bit of gum from something else, other stuff they do. So uh, yes, nice, straightforward, 
easy to follow instructions. Um, there's a lot. There's a lot in the kit, I think. Uh, but that looks fair enough. That the instructions is very nice. My example has got two spinners flying about, two wheel arms flying about, and um, a bit of the tail plane, which is very randomly split open. Look at that. We'll have to see what all that is about. Look at that look. So um, yeah, that's a bit of a disappointment. So we'll start with the fuselage halves uh, to begin with. Um, let's hold these up to the camera there. Look at that lovely detail there. Really fine rivets. Really nice uh, sharp lines. Nice and shallow. Same with that side what's in there, a little, little bit of detail uh, inside the cockpit area and the wheel well of the uh, rear, uh, rear, 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 I can't say it, you know what I mean. So that looks, that looks a great sprue, that does, look at that. How is that in the light there, look. Beautiful. So now if we take a look at the wings, top and bottom, they're exactly the same. Ooh, hello, we've got some got some mould release here. So these will want a um well I tell you what, right? <laughs> Look at this. This is slopped in it. This will want a good old uh, bath. Now I haven't washed a kit in years. That is gonna need a bit of a, a bit of a cleanup. Anyway. Let's look at the wheel well. That's nice detail inside there. Look at that, beautiful. Pit up tube, well that'll go for a burden to start with, won't it? So what we'd probably need to do though is just nip that off. Um, but look at the detail on here as well. Now this is an Edward kit because, because it says so. <laughs> but you can tell it's special hobby by the the texture and the feel of the plastic you know you've got on this crate this like spider webbing crazy stuff going on here it's not quite as polished as you would think from from old uh, old Eddie but um definitely um definitely nice look at that beautiful Take a look at the, uh, they've got some prop blades here. Now they are nice, look at that. You can always tell by prop blades um, how, how good the kit is. And look at that, that's really well molded. Really nice. Um, there's a piece missing here. That would be that bit there, wouldn't it? I would imagine. That bit should have gone onto there. Bloody hell. Uh, but um, uh, the moulding uh, and the detail is, they've got two more spinners there just for good measure. Uh, the moulding and the detail is absolutely lovely again. You've got these lovely rivets and fine lines on the tail planes and on these uh, wing surfaces here. Undercarriage inside, you've got some detail in there as well on the inside of the under, some of the undercarriage. Undercarriage here. Oh, tell you what, we have got a lot though. See that? Can them inject pins there? You little. Well, that's a disappointment. Look how beautiful they are. Turn run the right way round. Look how lovely they are. And look how they're ruined by them injector pins. Oh dear. Oh dear, it's not so great, is it? That's a bit of a shame, that one. So we've got um, another prop. We'll have to check, check your instructions, I think, lads. Uh, cowl in here, which we probably won't be, possibly won't be using. Um, oh, they're nice. Look at that. Some of the instrument there. Look, there's a decal for the instrument um, panel. That's all part of it. Beautiful, lovely. Engine. Should you need to? Should you didn't want to open it up? That's quite nice actually, that would do, wouldn't it? You don't see, wouldn't think you'd see a lot in behind this little cowling. Uh, details are all there again, lovely. Bit of ra little raised panel there. It's a mixture of raised and uh, and recessed uh, uh, detail here. That's quite nice. 
uh, here again as well. Uh, there's no more oil, I can't see any more um, release agent anyway, it's just that wing sprue. Uh, coming to the end now, uh, so we've got a bit of cockpit uh, floor, I'll take, it, take a wash nicely. Um, these tiny little bits and pieces for the cockpit, uh, the term, the the yoke. You've got sort of like a step, uh, step. Um, I can't speak tonight. Little step to get in. Uh, oh, you got two different types of um, cockpit there. Uh, instrument panel. There's the other bit there. Radiators, look at these, they're quite nice. Oh, I was kind of hoping that the uh, exhaust stacks here would have been drilled out, but no, they're not drilled out, are they not? It's a bit of a shame. Um, more details on this side here, nothing on the blind side here, nothing whatsoever. So it's, you know, <sighs> injector pin marks are a bit of a nuisance. And this is the final uh, plastic grey sprue obviously you've got some wheels um, some of the framing for the cockpit look how delicate that is that's quite nice it's really nice rockets should you need to be using them they look all right they look, don't look too bad but they're not. that's quite nice nice wheel hubs not that you probably use these, of course. Clear stuff. Um, you, the I don't know why someone might tell me why the um, these fuel tanks here are uh, molded in clear plastic. I don't really know why that would be, but anyway, they're there. And then the rest of the clear parts. Let's get them out quickly. It's easy to do. Are here. And, 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 there's a slight mark on it. I thought it was worse than what it is. Actually, no, there is a bit of a mark on that. It's a bit of a shame. That's going to want, might need a, just a polish. Uh, but there's all your little talk, these tiny little parts here, look. Cheers then. Uh, but that's your clear. Oh, that's a that's just going to want a polish, maybe even just a dip, perhaps. Old school dip. So the resin looks like that. That is lush. That is really nice, isn't it? You'd have to show that. <laughs> uh, you'd have to show that. That would break my one of my rules. Um, there's a the front of the engine there, look. That would break one of my rules not to show that, so you'd have to. I've got a little thing about, um, that's nice, no, uh, that's quite nice, a little moulding for the um, for the covers. About opening up aircraft, uh, I'm, don't, I'm not so keen. Um, I'm not so keen on it, unless it's in a diorama or a vignette. I like to, if they're going to be like standalone models, and I do prefer them all closed up so you can, you know, see the line of the uh, of the aircraft. Uh, are they weighted? On, are they, is that a weighted wheel there? Is that a weighted wheel? Lovely though, isn't it? Look at how lovely that is. Beautiful. It's the same as well. well that's a lovely resin, that is. Decals, finally the decals. Um, mask is like that it looks a bit rough and ready doesn't it but you do get one so that's quite it's good i'm sure that'll be fine uh the the little bit of pe is just harnesses and i think there's a little bit of something else there for the seat uh pre-painted so i'm not so keen on pre-painted stuff we'll see you get on with that really um but it looks okay and then the decals are like this um they're quite glossy. They are printed by Edward. I wonder if these are the new ones with the um, um, the new tricky ones. I haven't used them yet, so I don't know how hard they are. I think once you get the knack of it, they're probably okay, but we might have to test 
test around on something to see what they're like. But they all seem to be quite printed, quite well printed. There's your, the decals for the instrument panel. Yeah, you know, it's a bit in there, but they'll, they'll be fine. So that was a kit review of the Special Hobby Stroke Edward Tempest Mark II. Um, all in all, it looked very nice. Shame about the the EPMs in the the uh, the undercarriage doors, which is a real shame. Uh, and it's a little bit oily. Well, the wings the wings are the only oily bit. But uh, all in all, I think it would build up to be an absolute banger. <laughs>